Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to understand basic asset accounting tables required to know by a FICO consultant. So these are some basic, very basic table. I have noted it down, which is really useful for my day-to-day -day activities. So except BSEG, ACDOCA and uh, BKPF table I have particularly noted down only regarding asset accounting. So first table is ANEQ NEQ table NEQ table captures the asset accounting header information. So when you post any document in the asset accounting the header information of the asset accounting is getting saved in the NEQ. Okay. Even your BKPF table also stores the header information, but NAC also particularly stores the header information of asset accounting posting side. Okay, so let us go to NAC. You know how to go to table. So go to SC 16N. NAC. So this is the asset posting header information. You can give company code, give the asset number, and you can check it. Okay, so some of some of the information it is getting captured in the header information like fiscal year, company code, asset number, document date, posting date, period, posted by who is the user, what is the T code reference. So these are some information is getting captured in the in the asset accounting header information okay this is the first NAP NAP table captures the asset accounting posted document line item information even line item information is getting saved in the BSEG and SE DOCA table also but this table is particularly used for asset accounting only so come here you can run it and you can check here asset line item information which got captured in the line item okay then next table when you post the in the asset accounting your value the asset value especially the amount part is getting captured in the ANLC table so ANLC gives you more detailed information of your amount regarding to the asset accounting retirement posting accumulated depression everything gets captured here so all these are the important value gets captured here in the ANLC table okay then TABA TABA was very very useful in the ECC time because TABA used to give information till which period you have already completed the depreciation but now in the new depreciation run t code taba information are available here only let go let us go to here so here only you can check in which period depreciation was run so see i have run the depreciation t six period there was no error and for all the accounting principle i have run same information you can save in this table taba table Okay, in the TABA table, you can see all the depreciation run related information. So, here you can see ledger wise, first of all, ledger wise information. So, in fiscal year wise, and this is the period. So, in this particular period, how many times you have run? So, this is the number of run. So, in fourth period, for this ledger, I have run only one time. See, for fifth period, I have run first time second time and three time i have run this is the document and while running what is there was there any error occurred or it was successful so this kind of information is getting captured in this one then date and this is time and in ecc time this table was even updating this also planned run repeat run and uh, this one and planned so these are the information you can check in the TABA table tomorrow if you want to build any report and you want this information you can use TABA table I hope this table is useful then this 
are related to asset master this three table are related to asset master let us go to asset master table any asset master open the asset master so this is getting saved in one table and this is getting in one table and remaining all is getting saved in another table so in la table in la table saves the information okay let us talk in this way first in lb table captures this area information in lb captures the depreciation term related information in lz captures this time dependent information okay cost center profit center remaining all almost fields are getting captured in the anla table so in this way you have to understand so anla captures all other information except this and this and this information are getting captured in the anlb table in AL, anlz capture time dependent data let me practically show you so anlz ANLZ is time dependent. <coughs> you can run. You can run the information, and you can see here cost center validity for everything gets captured in this one. If you capture run the ANLB, it will give you the your depreciation area related information or your depreciation area start date layout depreciation key all this information you can find and remaining all information you can find the an la table in la table all this you can find here so another easiest way if you have any confusion you just press f1 and you can check in which table this is getting captured okay so this is getting captured in the this is the field this is the table name so if you don't know in this way you can understand let's say here any field you don't know how to check so press f1 go to technical so this field is getting captured in the anla table so likewise you can find out in which table these fields are getting captured so these are some important table you can use for your day to day business activities okay thank you so much for watching the video